So we've uh, been barbecuing, and what do you need with barbecue? You need coleslaw. You do. So I've got a head of cabbage that I am going to slice up with a dull knife at somebody's house that I don't live at. <laughs> but that's okay. Trust me, I don't mind. They are being very gracious. And I'm going to shred it, but I don't want to um, leave like really long strings of cabbage. I want it to actually be kind of more of a dice. Alright, so we quarter it, we take out the core. But because we're going to really, since we we're uh, we got some pulled pork going on out there, so we want we want this to be kind of diced, so we can put it on the pulled pork and everything be beautiful, right? Right, George. Which it will be. <laughs> All right. We're, that's our expectation. Yes. Okay. There you well, go. Go no, ahead. That's okay. Well, I'm going to uh, finish cutting this up, and when I do that, I want to get a lot of the water out of it, because, you know, when you, you're trying to get some slaw, and it's all watery down there. And it's, you know, sometimes not very pleasant. So you're saying the wateriness of a slaw might be more of the fact that you have not drained the water content out of the cabbage originally. Correct. Gotcha. So, so I didn't know. So when I, so I'm putting this all in a, in this microwavable dish right here mm -hmm. so that I can I'm going to put a little uh, salt and pepper on it actually salt and sugar <clears throat> and we're going to get some of the moisture out of it yeah salt salt's going to draw a little bit out of that yeah it'll draw a lot of it out and the sugar is just good. You know. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> that's all sugar I, will be inserted at some point. You know, that's all. Be the beginning. Right, that's all I got to say about the sugar. You know, it's just. Well, I will uh, find my there it is. And okay, so I have two tablespoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to put in here, and a half teaspoon of salt. Man, I like salt. All right, and we're going to toss this. With the, uh, yes. we're going to toss all this together, and then we're going to put it in the microwave. All right, so this is going to go in the microwave for a minute and a half. Okay, stop. Once I figure out. Okay. So the, anything on the display? Stop clear. Yep. Two. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome! All right, we're gonna clear again. Okay, uh, time cook. One, three, three zero. zero. Start. All right. Here we go. So, minute and a half. <laughs> gonna wilt the cabbage down a little bit. All right. So, Brit, um, Bruce. 
Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. We have the. Um, we're going to try this again. We're going to put a little bit more in the cloth. Okay. I've, I've heated it up. Uh huh. Is this a specific kind of cloth or no? No, it's just a kitchen towel. Just kitchen towel. Okay, we're just trying to yeah. drain some water out of that cabbage. Yes. Okay. So I've heated it up in salt and sugar. And now I should be able to get some water out of it. But it is just not cooperating with me today. At all. Which so, means by default, we should have... We have dry cabbage. We have pretty dry cabbage. Yeah, we do. That's what I'm going to say. Even if it was superheated. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'm going to go with the dry cabbage. Dry cabbage. Because <laughs> that is kind of weird. I usually do get... I mean, I've done this before, and I usually always get some water out of it. <clears throat> well, you are getting, you know, weak in your old age. And what Bruce has said, I don't know if this was caught on camera, but uh, what Bruce said was that there's nothing worse than having a coleslaw, and there's a lot of liquid left in the bottom yeah, of your so serving. Sl sloppy sauce. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I was trying, okay, so now, now I'm going to add some carrots. Important ingredient. I want to see if he's making his sauce or if he's got a bottle. Oh, yeah, no, okay, he's got the mayo. Yeah. All right. And what's that? More carrots. More carrots. Okay. It's okay. the same thing you already put in. <laughs> We're gonna use, I wasn't sure how much of the carrots I wanted to put in. We're going right. to put them all in. We definitely needed more. Yeah. yeah. It looks like you put them all in the pool. Oh! Nope, nope I did not. He did not. Where did you put it in? The pan. The pan. I, I, I that. <laughs> He's not even going there. Right. <laughs> I, I put it all in the pan. You put it in the pan. There is all no right. hot tub in, in this no. particular. No. Not in this dojo. Not in this dojo. <laughs> okay, so here it is. I'm going to use a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. Why are you putting it in there? Because I'm going to make... The sauce. The sauce. The sauce. Making this stuff. I've got... Watch out for the leg. The leg, the leg plays right behind your leg. A cup of mayonnaise, which is going to be this whole jar. This that basically is a cup right there. And, no, it is a cup. It's eight ounces. There you go. <laughs> um, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm using Hellman's mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. it came in an eight ounce jar. Uh huh. And the. And the uh, uh, the Miracle Whip did not. So if you had a choice, would you have chosen Miracle Whip? I would have. You would have. Mm. And that's because of the sweet and tanginess think, of the Miracle Whip. I think for Coleslaw, I would prefer mayo. mayo but at the same time, but since, that's my personal thing, right? Well, since I'm going to add and, and doctor a lot of this up, mm -hmm. then that was the other reason I wasn't concerned okay. about using mayo instead of... Uh, Whatchamacallit. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip, I yes. Got I got your back here. Okay, so now I need a third of a cup of vinegar. Third mm -hmm. of a cup. Mm -hmm. And. He's better than me because I definitely would have measured that one. <laughs> <laughs> Too much vinegar ruined stuff. All right. So, what do you have here? Uh, tables, I have horseradish. Horseradish? Yes, and so I need a tablespoon of horseradish. A finger dab. Two finger dabs. Two finger dab. Plus a little more. Two and two a little dabs. bit more to grow. Because I like horseradish. Okay, and? Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. What did I say? A teaspoon? Uh, a little more. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can actually say it. Worcestershire. No. Worcestershire. Okay. Worcestershire. 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 Ah, Worcestershire. Ah, shadow. <laughs> I'm drunk. <and> I <laughs> I'm sober and I can't say shit. I was born in the same state as the place. And we're going to grind enough pepper in here until we get tired of grinding. All right, so that's good. And that's pepper. Yes, this is just black pepper. Just black pepper. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Now, Bruce, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but most people... No, I say this. With I say this without knowing spot. fact, right? I, I say this without knowing fact, but most that. people add celery seeds to their slaw. Well, 
So what I've done here is mm -hmm. actually um, used the uh, horseradish instead. Are you sure you put the, the... In place of it. In place of it. Okay. Okay. And okay. So anyway. <laughs> we now mix. And while he's mixing. Oh, there he goes. I'm going to chase. I'm going to chase. Oh, look who it is. GD. GD. I just tasted it. And? We need a little bit more horseradish. Ah, uh, see? And we need a little bit more vinegar. An extra two tablespoons. No dab D. Nah, just a splash. And we need a little bit more Worcester sauce. Mm -hmm. So. So what's your yield here that you're going to put onto a whole cabbage plus a whole pack of carrots? And the pack of carrots it net weighted at ten ounces. Well, it was a cup of mayonnaise, so. Mm -hmm. Probably you know. two. At this point, or nah, one and a half? One and a quarter. One and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, it wasn't that much. So it passed the taste test, I noticed. It passed the taste test. So we now are going to make it, put it all in the pan. The, the, the pan. pan. I just need to chill this for about an hour. All right. And, what are your thoughts here, Bruce? You're on camera. I believe once we get uh, get it chilled, it will be good to go. 